So in this video, we have two judges, and in a talent contest, they're awarding scores out of 20 for five contestants. So here are the two judges' scores. This is contestant number one, contestant number two, three, four, and five. Test at the 5% level to determine whether there is evidence to suggest a negative association between the two judges' scores. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is calculate Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So we need to rank the scores of Judge A and then of Judge B. And then we need to find the difference in the ranks and then the difference squared. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That gives me enough space. So uh, we'll put the person with the highest scores first, shall we? So 18 gets first, then the 13 gets second, then we've got the 10, which is going to be third, the 7 there is fourth, and the 6 is fifth. Then for Judge B, we've got the 16 as first, we've got the 15 as second, we've got the 12 as third, we've got the 11 as fourth, and the 9 as fifth. Okay, so then we find the difference in the ranks. So 1 take away 2 is minus 1, 4 take away 3 is 1, 2 take away 5 is minus 3, 5 take away 1 is 4, 3 take away 4 is minus 1. We then square those, 1, 1, 9, 16, 1. And so the sum of d squared, um, so what have we got? Uh, I should just be able to do that in my head, shouldn't I? So uh, we've got 10, uh, 26, 27, 28. Okay, so it's 28. So Spearman's rank correlation coefficient is 1 take away 6 lots of the sum of d squared divided by n, which is 5, times by 5 squared take away 1, so 24. So we have 1 take away 6 times 28 over 5 times 24. And we get minus 2 fifths, so minus 0 0.4. So that is my correlation coefficient. So now the hypothesis test. So we start off with a Spearman's hypothesis test stating the null hypothesis which is that there is no association no association between the scores of the two judges so we want to write that in context so h1 there is a, so we're testing a negative association, so there is a negative association between the scores of the two judges. Okay? Right, the next thing is we need to find our critical value. So, for n is equal to 5, we're testing at 5%. The 5% critical value is... So, this is when we go to our tables. So, in the formula booklet, on page 12, you're looking at the right-hand side. Okay, so the right-hand side for Spearman's. So, we're doing a one-tail test because we're looking at negative association. So one tail, 5%, and then we go down to n is 5, and the critical value is 0 0.9000. Okay, so because we are doing a negative association, this should be minus 0 0.9000. Okay, so if you want to draw a number line, 
just so you can visualize this. You can. So minus 0 0.900 is up here. So that is my critical region. And the minus 0.4 is somewhere down here. So clearly minus 0 0.4 is greater than minus 0 0.9000. So the result is not significant. So we fail to reject H0. And we can say there is insufficient evidence to suggest, so we want a non-committal statement here, evidence to suggest there is a negative association between the scores of the two judges. Okay, and so that is how we can complete our Spearman's rank correlation coefficient hypothesis test.